Hey, what's up all you action figure lovers out there? Master Marvel's back at it once again, bringing you another action figure review. Tonight we're taking a look at the Marvel Legends 3-pack, Phantom X, Nimrod, and Psylocke. Um, I can't remember, I think maybe this was an Amazon exclusive set. Uh, yeah, took a minute to acquire this one, really because there were so many other ones that I wanted before this. But this is still one that I definitely want to... I, I, I've always feel like... I, yeah, I have always wanted a Nimrod in the Marvel Legends universe. This may not be the look I was thinking about, but it's still Nimrod. Never did have the old Phantom X, and I was really looking forward to getting this one. And I guess the Psylocke is just a bonus to this set, I guess, for me. You know, it's an extra figure to stick her somewhere. So anyway, let's, let's get this bad boy busted open. I'll take a closer look at these figures here. Uh, loaded with accessories. Hmm. Yeah, see the, the Psylocke, to me, I don't know, she looks good, but the one in her purple or blue costume or whatever it is, I tend to, I tend to like it better and it's going to remain my staple. Psylocke in my collection on my main X-Men display shelf but this one's good and it's this will probably go on my secondary display shelf I do have the old Toy Biz one floating around somewhere still which wasn't a very bad figure at all just of course she's got her little psychic knife Then the psychic mask. And her incredible looking sword. I, I kind of like this one better than the original one though. There's, but I think it's because of the... I should have pulled it off the shelf to to compare it, but I didn't. Uh, but I do think that there, the other one doesn't have this fade. Like there's a, a light pink to a darker pink on the uh, the effect piece there. Same, same way goes with the mask. It's, it's more of a... There's blended colors and not just one solid color, so... And then Rod's little effect pieces here. A couple pairs of fisted hands. It's a pair of fisted hands. A pair of open hands. And then another head, which... This is probably going to be the head I ended up using in the display. Some bullet pieces here, effect pieces. I do like these. Phantom Max just comes with a couple pistols, it looks like. And some, there's some smoke pieces here. Agent Zero, I guess. Maybe this is who this is. Or was Agent Zero another version of Maverick? I can't remember. But Phantom X. I can't remember if Phantom X and Agent Zero are one and the same. And this ain't gonna tell me. Uh, <laughs> if you guys know, let me know in the comments. Uh, so yeah, as far as Psylocke goes, I don't really... I'm not going to talk a bunch about her, uh, although I, I, I have to say I do like her. I like the hair, too, the shading on the hair. They did, with the w at least with the paintwork here, they did some good shit, so it's pretty awesome. which hand this goes on. It's just not wanting to get over the wrist here. There we go. Damn. It's 
pretty late at night, and I can hear sirens in the distance. So cool. Psylocke looks pretty good, man. That's a good look for her. Now Nimrod here, from what I heard about other people's reviews of this figure, it's not very good at articulation. It's kind of clunky. And it's probably good everywhere except for like the feet, I would think. You know, because there's just not a lot to work with in here. But yeah, otherwise probably going to be okay. It's this head though, I don't really, I do like the effects on the back, but the head's not so great to me. Let's check this is on the back, pretty cool. But this other head, it's definitely more vibrant. So I'll see what I can do. I have to take this off to get the fucking head off. Picked a perfect night to cut my nails because <laughs> you need them. There we go. Jeez, <laughs> that was fun. Let's put that other one on there. That looks kind of cool. I think the bu the bummer about the effects pieces is is that you know you really can't. They look cool, but you can't really get his wrist into firing range. Like, you can't really make it look cool. And I think that's what everybody was really bugging about on them, as far as that is concerned. But, I don't really care. Like I said, I'm just happy to get a Nimrod. And if he just, if he happens to look static as hell standing there... I mean, whatever, because he doesn't do much. Like, he doesn't need to articulate much. Like, this dude right here will just straight come at you just like this, man. And, and just beware. It will fuck you up standing just like this. <laughs> you know? One way or the other. But, yeah, these are cool pieces. And I, I could... I think they would go well with somebody else. I'm sure you can find somebody in your collection to use these bad boys. That is kind of cool. Kind of wish that little deal in the middle there lit up. That'd be awesome. Well, shit. That's my Nimrod. Woohoo! <laughs> Not as exciting as I thought he'd be. Am I still excited mostly for this figure then, I guess? Which is pretty bad because I guess this figure is pretty basic and my only need to Jones for it is the fact that I never did have the other one. Which, you know, from what I get is pretty crappy. And that's why it was in need of an upgrade anyway, because he did come from the Return of the Marvel Legends era. So he was supposed to be, you know, like, the turning point for Marvel Legends. <laughs> when they were trying to show their stuff, but I guess they just didn't have it, they weren't ready yet. So yeah, so these guns are awesome, they come with these little effect pieces that can clip in the front there. And then we got one firing and we can get one smoking here. Get that smoking barrel. These effect pieces came with one of the Black Widows earlier on. So this pack was a 2020 set. I didn't get it until like Christmas. So uh, I had already done my top, but I don't know if this would have made it into any of the top 20 
of 2020 countdowns, honestly. I mean, it's it's cool, but not so unique like some of the others, some of the other badass shit that we've gotten. But I like this Phantom X. I'm happy to have him. Uh, it's crazy seeing that freaking Bucky Cat mold <laughs> still being used. I mean, they could have. Damn it! I hate these boot things, man. They do. They do this all the time. Like they don't glue these into place. I don't know why. They think they they think we want to do it or something ourselves. We we don't. At least I don't. I'm gonna have to fucking. The only time I want to glue a figure. See, this other one fucking fell too. The only time I. Bitch. Is if something breaks. Then I'll glue it. But yeah, I probably will have to glue these because these are super annoying here, man. They don't want to stay up at all. Like they made these just a little too small. Ugh. I did not want to have a gripe about Phantom X here. I didn't. I wanted him to be the star of the show. But having that fucking issue with them boots. That's enough for me. I have to give it up to the best character in here, probably being the freaking Psylocke, man. <laughs> That's the sad thing. Like, maybe she is the best figure in this whole bunch here. <laughs> oh. So, I will do some comparisons here. Um, some crazy comparisons. Let me see. Okay. Let's start with Phantom X here. Compare him to... Hope. Hope. And the reason why I picked this Hope is because I don't have the Phantom X from that time period. But this Hope came from the same era, the same time period as our previous Phantom X. And honestly, uh, she's actually held up pretty good over the years, man. She still looks decent on the shelf with the rest of the, uh, the X-Men and, you know, next to Cable and shit. So, I don't think I ever reviewed her because that was long before I started doing reviews. But, uh, I might go back and take a look at some of these figures. This isn't her gun. This gun actually came with Kang, the Conqueror. But since he's not using it right now, I'll let her have it. <laughs> um, oh, I should have done a comparison with her, too. Uh, here, we'll take a look at Deathstroke here. Deathstroke. Deathlock. Because he'll be on the same shelf with old Phantom X here. And then here's Psylocke. And you can see how much bigger Nimrod still is, even then. Deathlock here. Almost a death stroke again. And here is our new rogue, next to our new Psylocke. I think these two actually look really good together, and I'm mainly comparing these two because these will be going on the same shelf. This is from off my secondary X-Men shelf. So yeah, they're going to look pretty damn good together. And then... Let's go back here for a minute. Comparison with Nimrod here. If I can even get this in frame, I'm going to try... But we have the Marvel Universe Sentinel here. Oh, I'm a Psylocke. 
yeah, so can't quite get the guy into frame here. Um, and this is nowhere near as big as the HasLab Sentinel is going to be. But, uh, still a good Sentinel here. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad to have more, you know, because Nimrod is a Sentinel, you know. He's a much more advanced Sentinel with artificial intelligence. You know, he's, in a way, kind of like Ultron, in a way. You know, with this, like he's, he, you know, I, I don't think he's taking orders. He's giving them. He's doing what he wants to do. Granted, he was programmed, but uh, you know, he just kind of goes rogue, I guess. And, you know, I don't know. Or maybe he is following orders still. I don't know. Maybe he's just that extreme though that he's one of the most dangerous of Sentinels. No, overall, this is a pretty good set. I'm happy to have it. Um, I always enjoy it more whenever I get characters that I don't already have. And with this three-pack, I'm at least getting two characters that I didn't already have on my shelf. So, uh, that's a bonus. And the uh, Psylocke is really good. It's, it's, honestly, it's, for just being a repaint, man, they did a pretty good job on it. And, yeah, it's... Kind of holding down with these other characters that I thought I'd be mo mostly excited for. But, uh... <laughs> it is what it is, man. It's, it's New Marvel Legends, so there you go. <laughs> I'll be finding somewhere to stick these guys on my shelf. Anyways, if you guys like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Let me know what you guys think of the video in the comments and what you guys think of these figures. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Thanks to those of you who've already subscribed. And once again, I'm Master Marvel, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.